and uh, the XOR is the output of the key with the key XOR with the uh, R0. This is uh, the result of the uh, text to XOR with the R0. Now, this is the result. So, what's the, what is the next step? The next step is to probably uh, go further and do what we call a substitution box. Let me explain the substitution box, and then after that, we can go back uh, to, the, our, to our uh, example and continue. The Xbox is very simple. Uh, we have 48 bit, okay? We have 48 bit. So this we're going to put them back in the matrix into the matrix again because we have 48 bit uh, after the XOR. So we're going to form the matrix after that, and then we will do the uh, so. Now in the in the matrix, these are how many bits? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to convert the 48 bit into uh, 32 bit again. So how we do that? Um, let's take a real example. So, for example, we have, uh, if we find that we have this number, let's take an example, this number, 101, got it from the matrix. Let's say this one is S1. So, what we do, we take the first bit and the last bit together. What is that? There will be 11 which is 1 and 1 in binary. So this is the row. We call this is the row is equal to 1 and 1. And the column will be this in the middle, which are 0, 1, 1, 1. So the column, the column will be equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. Now this is binary. I need to convert them into a, into decimal. These are binary these are binary digit i need to convert them to what to decimal so i know the exact value of it because we have rows i need to convert how do we convert that it? it's very simple uh put here um so this one is equal to three how do i know it's equal to three just put one two here so one plus two is equal to what two three here you put one, two, and then what? And then you put four. All right. So one, two, three, and four, seven. Now, how do we convert it? If you have digits that in binary, you want to convert it into decimal. What do you do is you uh, draw a line like this and you say one, two, four, and then eight, and then 16 and so on okay if there's more digit you add 16 then 32 you have to multiply by 2 okay 32 and then after 32 we have 64 if the digit is 1 we take this number here if the digit is 0 we forget about the number here okay so here we have 1 and 2 because there's 1 and 1 so we I have to add 1 and 2 together so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Here we have 3 1, so I have to add the 1 and 2 and 4 together in order to convert. So it becomes 7. So we have row 3 and column 7. This is row 0, 1, 2, 3. And this is row 3. And the column is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, until 7. So this is column 7. The intersection between them are, is what? Is 7. So the value will be converted into what? Into 7. Okay, 1, 1, 1. Because I want 4 digit, so I have to add 0 because it's missing 1 digit. I converted, I converted 8, uh, sorry, 6 bits to what? To 4 bits. This is what? I do. Okay, this is the main goal of the S box. Uh, you can look at that. So take the again, take the first digit and the last digit. So B1 and B6 will be what will be the row, and the column will be what the 
bits in the middle b2 b3 b4 and b5 they will be the color and you convert it into decimal in order to find the value in the let's take a real example from our example here uh, but let's get the uh, let's get the S box first. I'm gonna uh, have to bring the S box to the Excel so I can show you how it happened. Uh, let me paste it here uh, so you can see everything. This is the S box. It is very small. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger. Hopefully you can see that. Now what I'm gonna do is now I have to put this into matrix six 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 back again to the same length in this matrix. So I have to copy uh, six the six bit here. Two, I have to give them number one, two, two, and then I have to um, see how many bits I have. So these are uh, S one. I'm gonna merge it and write here S one, and the second two these are S um, two. So these are S two. And then these are S3 uh, merge, and these are S3, and this one is S4, S4, and then S5, we have S5. And then S6, S7, and then we have S7. So S7, and the last one is what? S8. So I'm just going to color them right now. Let me just finish. So this is how is it happen. Okay, this is S1, S2, until S8. So let's take the bits in S1 and S2 and S8 and see what we can do with it. So the bits here, the first bit, we had to identify the row and the column, all right, for each one. So for S1, uh, we can write the row is um, what the row? The row will be the, the, bit, the first bit and the last bit. So the row will be what? We have to write here row, okay? And so we know where's the row and here we write the column so the row here is zero and zero which is the first bit and the last bit what's the row here uh, the row e and the, the, these are one zero zero so one zero 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 these are the bits between the last one and the first one there. Uh, second one, okay, the row is equal to 0 and 1. So we have 0 and 1. Okay, let me just put these together so uh, you won't mix them. Okay, and the second one is, uh, let me just start from here and delete this one. So the first bit is 0, as you can see here for S2. And the last bit is 1. Okay. Here, uh, the, the thing in the middle will be 0, 1, 1, 1. So I have to write 0, 1, 1, and 1. And you continue the same with the rest of the... Um, the, the so I finished the uh, row and columns. I'm just going to color them so you can see that. Okay. Uh, now, this is the row, this is the column. So I'm going to find that this is binary. This is binary and find the row and column as what? As a decimal one. Okay? So this is row and column. Row and column here. Okay, so the first one is 0 and 0. 0 and 0 will be 0. So the first row is 0. And the column is 1. A zero zero zero. This one in decimal will be eight. Okay. Uh, second one is zero one. That will be one. And uh, zero one one one. That will be seven. And the uh, third one is one one. So the column will be three. 
one one is a three and when decimal and one 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 is uh, if you want to convert it okay you can uh, I'll show you how to convert it and then I'll delete that in a very simple way okay so what do you do exactly uh, you have the digit here and you add one two four six here one two four uh, sorry eight okay these are all numbers so I have to add these together all right so I add them together for 12 and 3 equal 15 so the column is 15 okay uh, now the second one is uh, the first one is 0 1 so here I put delete this one and put 0 and the second digit is 1 so I have uh, the zero. I don't. I ignore it. So I have the one uh, here. If it's zero, if the value is zero, don't add it. So it'll become only two because I have one under two. So this one will become uh, what is it? So it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It is one uh, zero one zero and the one here. Uh, so sorry. So I ignore the two. I have one on the under one, so the value will be only one, the column, or the row, sorry. Uh, now let's uh, see how, how we calculate the column. This is the last one I'm going to show you, and then you have to, yeah. So this one, I ignore the four and two. I only add one and eight, so the result will be nine, one plus eight. These will be I ignored because they have zero, zero. So I add one plus, this one will become nine so one and nine right here uh, i have to increase this one a little bit so we can see the value here a little bit more yeah 15. Uh, here also the row will be three and the column will be zero because they're all zero here the row will be two and the column will be ten and here will be one and the column will be uh six and the last one is one and uh, we have also 13 okay 13 so we we have to find we have to find the uh no s1 let's go to s1 i have to go to row zero okay row zero and column eight row zero and column eight okay s1 so row zero Column eight, S one. Where's S one? This is S one. Okay, A row. What's the row? Row zero and column eight. So I have to go to row zero. This is zero. Row zero. This is row zero. This is row one. This is row two. This is row three. Uh, so row zero is this one. Column eight. So start from zero. One, two, three, four. Five, six, eight. Uh, what's the intersection between them? The intersection is eight. The intersection is eight. So go back to the Excel. I'm going to put the result here will be eight. The result here will be eight. What about this one? One and seven. S2. This one S2. So S2 will be one. Row one. This is row one. This is row one. And we have to go for column 7, uh, one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sorry, this is 7, this is 8. The first one is a 3 in 8, and the second one in 7, we have 14. So 8 and 14. So this one will be, uh, sorry, uh, this one will be 3, not 8. And the second one will be 14. And you continue the same as well, and you continue doing the same thing for the others. Now we have 3 and 15, and S3, S3, 3 and 15, 0, 1, 2, 3, last one, and 15 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, the last one is 15. So. Uh, we have 3 and 15. 3 here. 
and we have uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is 15, and the intersection is what is 12. So go back to the Excel and put 12. And we put 12. And we continue the same until we find the other values as well. Okay, I already have uh, put the values for all of them. So we have these numbers, okay. And these numbers are the values of the column and row from the S-box table. We call this S-box table. i make it bigger so you can see it. Um, some of the numbers uh, need to be, uh, the cell need to be extended. So, okay, now the three is basically uh, one and one the three is one and one and I, I need four digits so I have to add zero zero and the 14 will be basically how do you convert it you, you divide it by two or you can say you can use this function here function I think this is decimal to binary you can say uh, okay and then you choose uh, this one here and you say okay that will be converted to uh, this number 100 and you can also extend this to this one here um, delete the zeros here I'm sorry I have to delete these bits because there's no number you can apply the same function here and the 7 uh, just remove this uh, empty one and we have to add zero here in front of the seven because uh, it's zero zero one. So we have to add zero here. Uh, okay, and we do the same for uh, this one here number. This number comes to one zero zero. I think it is eleven. Okay, I think it's eleven uh, probably. Yes, supposed to be eleven. Yeah. And also we have to uh, yeah use the same function here and remove the one in the middle. You can convert it manually or you can it's better to convert it manually because you will not having and I have to add zero here because this is three digit. Uh, the one will be uh, zero zero uh, one uh, sorry zero one and the fourteen I can uh, use the function but I already have it here. Uh, which will be uh, one, one, zero, zero. This is the 14 number. So I have these numbers, okay? Now they are the new number. So I have to put them together in one uh, column. So in one row, I'll say zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, and then one, one, zero, zero just make them one line and then one zero one zero and then i have to copy this one as well zero one 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 here so i can add it myself zero one 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 and add another one one zero zero one and zero one zero zero and also i have three zero 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 one and the last one is one one zero zero this is the output from the s box we have 32 bits right here um try to practice on using the s